Come in. You asked for us, sir? Yes, I did. Sit. I have a special assignment for you two. I want you both to go undercover and infiltrate the Brook Street gang and find out what it is they're planning. What's our cover, boss? <laughs> Good question, Briggs. You'll act as a couple of that's just arrived down from Sydney and are looking for some lucrative action. What is it that you think they're into? That is why we're so concerned. We don't know as yet. They just sit around that clubhouse day and night. I'm afraid they're planning something really big and, uh, and must be big to take so long to plan it. it. Scares me, I don't mind admitting it. Well, I wonder what the hell they're up to. So how long has the department been monitoring them? We first got wind of them about nine months ago when they first set up shop. Well, <laughs> should I say, clubhouse in Footscray. And we heard from Interpol that they've been detecting suspicious activity coming from that area. Righto, let's get stuck into it. Don't you worry about a thing, sir. We will solve this inside of a week. Megs, that attitude is precisely why I'm not sending you in there on your own. I'm, I'm sending Briggs here to keep you under control. She's the senior officer. You'll do as actually she does. Understood? Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Sorry, I was just glad to be getting back into the thick of it, that's I, all. I don't expect to hear from you for at least a month. That should give you enough time to sort out what the hell they're planning. I'll see you back here in 30 days. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. We'll see you in four and a half weeks. Right. We'll do our best. Good. Thanks, boss. All right, listen up. You got these two new bods here wanting to join us. They've come all the way down here from Sydney looking for some action. So now that you've made yourselves at home, tell us your story. Well, like we said, we're down from Sydney looking for some lucrative action, if you know what I mean. And we're not too fussed about the legals of it either. How do we know you two are on the up and up and not connected to the cops, eh? If we were cops, we wouldn't be here, would we? Check out our connections in Sydney if you don't trust us. Come on, animal. You don't trust anybody that's not your mum. Oh, don't worry about him. He's just a wally. All right, people, get on to business. What about that jeweler shop down the road that we were thinking about for a hit? I think it's a bit too close to home for us to be hidden. Okay, good point. What about the casino then? Our security is way too high, but what about the servo in Karen? Mum lives in the retirement village next door. Wouldn't feel comfortable hidden up so close to Mum. How about the chemist in Stephen Street? Uncle is two doors down. The servo on Burwood Highway? Cousin Bill. Well, what about the supermarket in Caulfield? He's Auntie Millie. Well, that's all my ideas. All right. Well, we've postponed this for a couple of weeks. There's no hurry then. But I, want, I don't want to have to remind you all that we have to get funds from somewhere very soon. So I want you to think about possible targets that are not surrounded by animals' family. I don't care what you've been told. Do it today! Alright you two, what have you got for me? Absolutely nothing sir. They spend days coming up with plans and then look for reasons or excuses not to do it. Look we don't know actually what they're going to do but so far they've actually achieved zip. Well, I don't mind admitting it but this scares me. I know they're cooking up something big because I, I can feel it in my water. Look, what else do you want us to do, sir? I mean, we have done everything. Every time we suggest a place for them to rob, they come up with any old excuse not to do it. You know, I think we're fighting a real uphill battle with these guys. Maybe there's something we could do to make them... to push them harder, make them actually go through with a plan. But how do we do that? That's only going to delay things further. I know what we'll do. I know the local community bank has their money picked up every Friday afternoon. You two will convince the gang to pull the robbery on Saturday morning. Uh, we'll staff the bank, and when they come in and start the robbery, we'll take them into custody. Great idea, sir. We'll get right on it. We'll tell them we need to do it two Saturdays from today, uh, which makes it Saturday the 15th. And we'll give it to them as a complete plan. 
so that they can't decide not to go through with it. All right, let's crack on with it. Look, I'll organise things from this end. You two make sure their gang does the job. See you both on the 15th. All right, nobody move, nobody gets hurt. Right. Stick the money in the bag, come on. Do We're it. not messing around. Do it. Police, Police you're all under, under arrest. arrest. What the hell's going on here? Detective Sergeant Willis, Chelsea CID. Senior Constable Gibson, Lang Warren, CID. Senior Sergeant Watson, Karam, CID. Detective Inspector Briggs, Willoughby, CID. Detective Meggs, Willoughby, CID. Detective Chief Inspector Mitchell, Willoughby, CID. PC Turner, I'm with him.